Say, you, say you've downloaded the Water Utility Mobile Map template, but you don't know how to use it, you have it installed. So let's walk through that process or walk through the template. First of all, let's, let's explain what it is. It's a mobile uh, GIS application for your field crews. It allows your field crews to walk outside with a tablet, like we're showing here, or one of these other tablets, and, and, look, do their, and replace their paper maps. So no more you guys printing maps that are out of date and have information that's not all correct. This tablet, these tablets can have all the up-to-date maps from your, for your water utility out in the field and all the tools for your field utilities to uh, access all the information on there. So let's go, ahead through, let's go through some of the tools. And the first thing we'll notice, we have very simple, easy to use navigation. Large buttons on the screen which we can then click and go ahead and zoom in. And what you're going to notice is as we go ahead and get a closer zoom in into our map or look closer, we're going to see more, we have access to more information. So we have a multi-scale map. We have you know, more information turns on when we need it. So we're not wasting time building these paper maps with a large amount of intersections or inset maps for intersections with lots of information. They have access to all that information out here in the field. So with this, we can go ahead and just, just show you some more of the tools. Is that You can see that as I drag my pen, we very easily can navigate around that map. But it's not just about navigating the map, it's also about getting information for our field crews. And we kind of break down into the tools into three things, and one way they can get information is that we can use an identify tool or an information tool. At any, we can pick any layer or any um, asset that's on our device, and go ahead and select that asset type and get a list of all the information tied to it. So here we have a hydrant, we can see its ID, its rotation, its manufacturer, it's operable, any information you're storing in, inside of your asset database. They also have tools for them to easily locate your assets. So we can go at any time, pick out our asset type, provide a, some information such as a facility ID number or maybe an install date or whatever that may be. Let's go ahead and just add the one for, um, for a facility ID and go ahead and search the entire database. So that quickly found 187 records that match our ID. We can then at any time zoom to that asset, locate it on the map, and then go ahead and provide more information. We can load that into our information panel to get all those details we need. It's not just searching for individual assets. Well, what, are the, what do we do a lot of times? We get a call, we have to respond to an intersection, we have to respond to an emergency. So very quickly we can go ahead and select a primary street and then find all the streets that intersect that street. So let's go ahead here to 13th in Boston. Same thing, we can zoom to. It's going to then locate that intersection for us and show us the, uh, the intersection. So once we found our asset, what's the third thing we, we want to do as a field crew? We, have, we know we have access to all our information. We can search it, we can get detail, we can get more information, but we also might want to go ahead and create red lines or notes. We want to sketch on top of here to either note inconsistencies or note things that are going to help us in the future. Very quickly, you can go ahead and activate our note and just sketch or go ahead and draw an area that we want to highlight and then fill out some details. Right now we have some, just a few values we can fill out, but we can go ahead and enter our crew name. We'll put my name in there. We can set the timestamp, and you'll see that a lot of this is a lot of this interaction is going to be simplified for your field crews. We're not bringing out the keyboard. We're using some very simple tablet PC app, um, tablet PC ink technology to draw this in there. We'll just type in the word note. We save we save our note. Our information is now stored on our device. Right now, this note is only living or it's stored on our device. We're operating completely disconnected. We're not relying on the internet or relying on a bandwidth or a network card to, to look at this asset. They're all loaded on this machine locally. But at any time, we can go ahead and synchronize our device with the office. And what I mean is that if we had a connection, right now we're, we're disconnected because we're operating on like a mobile device. But if we were connected, all we have to do is hit post and push all our changes or all our notes back into the office. Or at any time, at, we can go ahead and refresh our layers to get all the changes or any new updates. So what does a mobile field map do for you? It really provides three things for your field crews. It provides up-to-date information about your assets, provides them tools to locate them, those assets or to locate an intersection to basically get to those assets, and it also provides them the ability to mark up and synchronize and push changes back and forth. So your field crews are really becoming an integral part of your data maintenance and part of your organization. So thank you.